Hey guys, if you're watching the video, you probably know what happened. My laptop of about three years has been stolen. Taken away from me. And by stolen, I mean I, I may have left it unattended on the school campus for like half an hour, and then I come back and somebody took it. But you know, the, the, that's still theft. Somebody still have to take that, that laptop. And now that we have the clickbait out of the way, let's get down to the video. Last time I did one of these videos, I didn't know it was going to be very easy, just like, oh, let me get my computer stuff, and let me just kind of talk about it, I didn't have much of a message here, but this time the message is, I want to show you what I use to edit my videos, what computer I have, and what I can do with the computer I have, and also, like, if I get a better computer, what are the type of videos I can do. So, I guess I'll start by showing you my setup. The first thing I want to talk to you about is the chair, and the one I use, because, you know, there's all these chairs and gaming chairs, this being, um... I guess it's an office chair, and it's got this stupid tear in it, and a few of the chairs in my house, but this one just kind of does the work because one of the other chairs I find comfortable, which I use when I play on the PS4, but like it leans back a lot, which isn't really ideal when you want to like sit at a PC all day. Which is why for gaming chairs, they have like console gaming chairs and then PC gaming chairs because like depending on what you're doing, you're gonna need something else. I've sat on a DX racer, on the seat, a Xenix chair and an AK racing chair. And the only chair that even remotely felt nice was the AK racing chair. I forgot the model and I'm currently poor, so I couldn't buy it anyway. For a setup, especially when you first start out, like just using whatever's around the house is fine. A rolling chair is a must though, just cause they're fun. It's not like a real reason. I, I, I find them fun. This computer has been in my family for... Steve, how long has this computer been with us? I really don't know. It's been maybe like six, seven years, and it confuses me. I'll, um, I'll probably put the specs on screen, but like, it ran a lot better than my last laptop, which goes to show you that that Dell Inspiron was crap because it's got almost no RAM, I think, and like spec-wise, it should have run worse, but no, I could run League at like 60 FPS on this thing consistently. A very underrated part of any setup is where you keep your drinks. Gaming on the go, you must be, you know, high those where you you gotta stay hydrated. So it's good like I don't know I if just, I was supposed to follow it out of the frame. No 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 just, just follow I'm <laughs> Debbie, sorry. We're doing it again. I didn't wait, so we like do this time you're fired. You Alright, and I'll start with the number one most important part of any setup, and that is where you keep the coaster and the drink. You know, gaming for long periods of time or editing long periods of time, you need to stay hydrated with some nice water or like monster and shit. I, I, I didn't actually need to drink all of that. The thing that I know I'm gonna get is like the desk, cause like I looked into like what's a good desk to get for like a get for you know like your computer gaming and such. And mostly they're these really expensive desks. And the one that stood out to me was the Arazi desk. Like it's just it's so simple, but like I want it so badly, but none of my friends will allow me to buy it. Also, it's like it's a lot. It's a lot considering how much I make. The desk I see a lot in like, it's usually number five or number 10 on like the top five or top 10 desk we get is like that Ikea like Linman desk or whatever. It's literally just a table. But everyone says, yeah, it's a pretty good table. Like, you know, it's a drawer at right height. It's like, it's literally just a table. It's like, it's four legs and then just like the top. But people say, it's, it's not bad to have. As for this desk, it's like, um, you probably can't tell how shitty it is, but like under here, Cause like there's this spot where it's supposed to be like the roll in and out the keyboard that shit broke off there's a spot for a printer and i thought about it i don't i don't really need a printer anymore or anything i just print at school so like this this is doing well for now but you know i want more i i'm greedy i'm a gamer you know i, I have ambitions i can't have like this desk set up and um yeah this is what i have for the setup honestly i wonder i recommend this keyboard like, touching it, it definitely feels like, you know, a cherry red keyboard, like, it has the clicks, you can tell it's different from other keyboards, and my friend, he was touching it, like, he thought, oh, it felt a bit odd, but he thought, oh, maybe I'll just have to break them in, and, like, it's been months, and they feel the same, I didn't really mind it, so, like, I touched his mechanical keyboard, it was a Cherry Max Red and the Corsair one, and, like, it felt good, like, it felt proper, it was nice and sensitive, so, like, this, what I have here, only feels a little bit better than a normal keyboard, so, like, I wouldn't really recommend it. As you guys can see, I got a new mouse. If you saw the clickbait at the last video, the 3 inch gaming mouse, you'll see that I've upgraded. So I finally got the Razer Death Adder Essential, I think, mean, ergonomic gaming mouse. It's like, it was one of the cheapest Razer mouses, and I thought it was good. I've kind of always wanted to have one. 
But like playing on it now, it's a bit interesting because like over here you kind of see like these buttons and it's kind of, I'm not sure if it's like the small mouse I was using before that ruined me, but like when I'm on this, I don't really hold it like this. I mean, I do hold it like this, but on the side, I'm just kind of used to not going all the way here because I guess like the, the, this mouse is almost as big as my hand. So like only really touching this first button feels comfortable. The front one is a bit of a reach, but I, I've been playing with it a bit. I've been adapting, so it's not bad, but like in hindsight, it may have gone for one of the newer Steel Series or even the newer Razor Mouse. So I still say this is a very solid mouse, but I'm just adjusting to it. If you have big hands, I definitely recommend it. The other thing I got on Prime Day was this Razer Man War headset. I think it's around $240 retail. I got a pretty good deal. I think I got it for like $140. It's like about $100 off. And for the price of $250, I don't know if it's worth it, but for $150, I'd say it's pretty solid. It's, they're easily like the best sounding like headphones I've ever had in just a gaming headset. My only real issue with it is, um, what's the word? If I turn it on, it has that little razor glow. I'm like, oh yeah, it looks cool, but it just kind of drains the battery for no reason. And the stupid app, actually, let me show you the app. Whenever I try to log in onto it, I'm not about to show you now. It thinks that I'm not online. I can't connect. I looked into like the reason on this on Reddit. I couldn't really figure it out. So if you know how to fix this, just let me know. Because of that, I can't turn it off and these just stay on. On the left side, you see this is like where you put in the charge and the power button. The thing is like this dial is to like mute your mic. Like I said, I don't use it because I don't use the actual in-game mic, but like just dial it up and you know, it gets louder, dial it down, your mic gets louder. But the what issue I have is on the other side on, and when you use it on the PlayStation, you can't, this doesn't, this is supposed to control the volume that you hear in the headset itself. When you're on a PlayStation, you have to like go into, the, it's like a t any typical headset. Like this part is basically non-existent. So I'm not sure if that is a PlayStation issue or if it's a this headset issue, but that is like one issue I did have with this. They are a USB headset. There's no like jack for 3.5 millimeter jack and stuff like that. So like if the battery dies, then like the headset's done. But the annoying thing is like when this headset gets low, it starts beeping. I don't mean like consistent beep, like beep, 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 but like every couple of minutes, it will just send a beep to you. And I swear the closer it gets to dying, the more beeps I hear and it's just annoying. I don't know how to turn it off. I don't think you can. I think your only solution is to charge it. Apart from that, they're a pretty solid pair of headsets. The next part I have. Seems like you're good, you're awfully silent. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I can talk and give feedback. <laughs> I don't know that much about monitors because every time I think about buying one, I look a ton of shit up, I don't end up getting the monitor, and I forget it all because I'm incapable of remembering anything at all. Anyway, I'm not that concerned about it because I'm going to buy a gaming laptop next and I assume most of the monitors for gaming laptops are good? Is that true? No idea. Will I look into it? Maybe. When I do get a desktop eventually, I want to have a dual monitor set up at least. I don't know why I need three monitors, but with two monitors, I can have a game monitor, one which, you know, the game will be on, and one so I can look at Twitch chat and other stuff. Also, I plan to stream a bit, hence the webcam that I'm struggling to put on right now. I was going to stream on YouTube so I could get away with being offensive, racist, and overall just a garbage human being, but, you know, they say don't put all your eggs in one basket, so I said I'll just go to Twitch. Also, I don't ever aspire to be a full-time streamer, by the way. I, this is more so for fun, so expect inconsistent ass streams at twitch.tv slash Simba. Also, I want to use game capture software recorded and not have my, my frame rate drop below 30 FPS. I mean, if it didn't drop below 60 FPS, that'd be ideal, but not all games are even 60 FPS. So that's why I want with a new computer. So yeah, in conclusion, this is the temporary setup. I've been using it for like a few months. It's not gonna last long and next time when you see me, I'll be explaining like, oh, what's good with the new laptop and the new desk and go into what kind of videos we're making then. So yeah, thanks for watching. Who should I get to subscribe? I choose you. Oh God. All right, we're done, we're done. <laughs>